Hey guys, welcome to Pajama Mama's Kitchen. I have a quick product review for you. I'm making um, some chipotle bowls and I still need to make some pico de gallo. And I have a, let me show you what I got right now. Um, I have some beans over here, if you guys can see that I've already made the black beans. And then right here, I have some rice for the bowls. And then I have my sticky, uh, my sticky corn. And so all I gotta do is make my pico de gallo and um, cook off my meat. So let me show you this chopper over here. A lot of you guys probably already have one of these choppers. I had one a long time ago um, that was, well, Madeline. And, and I gave it away. And then I got a, a different one because I cut my hand. But I wanted to try this vegetable chopper um, to see how good they are. So let me get you guys over here. Okay, guys, here's the box. This is the vegetable chopper I'm talking about. And I have not opened it. It's probably had it for a few months now um because i was waiting to do an unboxing but i was like well i'm about to make some uh let me see is it in plastic no it's not so let me open it and see what we have Oops, I just pricked my finger on this look so this is what i guess the thing to hold your um oh look comes with a little peeler that was a thing that that's what you hold, like if you're cutting potatoes, I guess, whatever. And I heard they're very, very sharp. So everybody's like, be careful. Because like I said, one, that one, my old school one I had a long time ago, I ended up cutting my hand and I had to actually go to the hospital and get stitch, stitches. Those manadons are very uh, sharp, so you guys be careful. So you guys see what it comes with. It comes with all these different plates. Oh goodness. So, oh they have different sizes. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. Don't know what that is. I guess I have to read the instructions. So let me give this a good, oh look, a little cleaning brush. And what is this in there? There's something else in there. Oh, it has a little basket in here, I guess. So, uh, you know, if it's really watery, it's like a colander in there. I have no idea what that is. So let me give this a good uh, washing and uh, figure out how to put this together. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I went on and put my chicken on. Okay, so I figured out what this is for. This, you put it on there. This is an egg separator. I don't, you know, I don't really need that, but that's what that is. I didn't, I didn't know what that was at first. And then this right here is the small grater. I don't want to use a small grater. You guys see I already have my vegetables prepped. I just kind of cut the skin off the onion and um, cut the ends off the tomatoes and cut them in half. Okay. I'm not going to use that right now. So so what I'm going to do is we're going to see if this thing will cut these tomatoes. So I'm going to open that up. Can you guys see? Let me move that over. And let's see if it works. So I'm going to put my tomato right here. Maybe I need to hold it. Oh, I hit my hand. <laughs> okay, it worked. Let's try another one. I want to see if... Because tomatoes sometimes they're a little bit soft. Oh, you guys see that? Do I want them smaller? Let me look. Did you guys see? No, that's pretty good for it. That's about the dice I want on some salsa or pico de gallo. So you can use the smaller one. Like I said, if you want like more of a small dice. And I didn't want the basket. The reason why I took the basket out is because I actually want the juice um, in the salsa. So let's do couple more and then I'll show you what the onions look like. That one's kind of big. Let's see if this works. So you can't use a huge one. Let's see. So it does have to, you have to cut some down. Oh, what's working y'all? Try it that way. Nope. See how that's, let's turn it this way. So it works pretty good on tomatoes. Now, let's put this onion on here. Is that too big? 
Now it's a, it's, it's a little bit big. Maybe, let me try this size. Yeah, maybe I'll take the outer layer off to see if that. Okay, let me see if, actually let me do it this way. See what the what it's looking like. Now I've been sitting. This been sitting up in the house for the last couple months. And I ain't used it. I've been still cutting it by hand. It's not bad. And I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep on using it. Let me see. So let me cut this. I'm gonna cut this onion down to see if it'll work on like just a little. And then it also has all these different ones. These is like for grading and stuff. I kind of read that this is like a grater. Let me see. This little pamphlet. I'll, I'll link it below. This little pamphlet has all these different um, numbers on everything. So this is a number five. And that number five is that's a, a four millimeter shredding blade. Okay. And then... That is a slicer. That's number seven is a two millimeter slicing blade. So it comes with a lot of pieces. That one is the, oh, this, that's a potato. Oh, it makes potato lattices. You know, like those little, uh, like waffle fries. And then this one right here is, Number five, the four meter uh, shredder blade. And like I said, this big one right here, I think I might shred some cheese because I'm going to need some cheese for the bowls and show you guys that. Let me see. That one is number two is the Dyson base. So it's just a, a, a smaller dice, like I said before. So that's pretty cool. And then it's little, it's pretty cool that these little pieces you gotta be careful because it's very sharp that these little pieces have um, a little carrying case so you can kind of keep up with it because you can put it all together let me turn it upside the right side up yeah I guess so that's pretty cute so let me and then this right here this is for when you're slicing because you can make like um, French fries and like uh, like potatoes, sliced potatoes. And you put the potato on here. So I did it again. So the little sticky things. You open it up. See, those are that'll stick in your potatoes while you're slicing it, so your hand doesn't get close to that blade, like what happened to me a long time ago. So I am going to make the rest of these um tomatoes yeah oh, i gotta show my husband this he can because he always makes the salsa so this will be really fast okay so actually let me finish making doing this and then i'm gonna get some um, cheese to grate for you guys okay guys i rinsed everything pretty good and then so i'm gonna open this up i took all the tomatoes out of here you see this i think See, it doesn't really come with instructions. It just shows you. It comes just comes with a little piece of paper. It just shows you what everything is. So you gotta kind of figure it out. So this, I'm gonna pull this off. Let's see. It's on there pretty good too, because it comes with that already on there. And then it's saying that this right here is a garlic press it's a pretty big garlic press so i'm going to take that off and then here is the two uh shredders and let me see i'm going to use the biggest one this is the biggest one so i'm going to put that one over here and you just kind of slide that i think let me see let's see let me get it right Nope, I was right the first time. Hold on. 
Y'all learn it with me. So I think that's supposed to come off because if it wasn't supposed to come off, yeah, it has to because how would you get the cheese out? Now, I don't have any grated cheese, so I got this cheese and I am going to take this off and see how it works for grating. Okay, let's see. Let me hold it. Yeah, I guess it works. I like the uh, my handheld one or my it does work or the one on my KitchenAid. That one's easy because that one is electric. So, but I just wanted to see if it would work. So let's see what it looks like. You know what? This will be good for um, hash browns. So that's what the cheese is looking like. And I think that's all I'm going to show you because I don't want to... I like to cut my potatoes when I'm going to use them because they get brown. You can put them in water. But what I'm going to do is now is um, grate the rest of this up. Then I'm going to show you um, real quick before I go how I put my um, pico de gallo together. Okay, guys, I'm back. I thought about it. I was like, they might want to see if the slicer worked. So I did cut one potato. So, so that's the slicer blade right here. Let's wash it off. So let's put that in there. And then I have this potato that I've cut. So here is the, uh, there is they're very sharp. Okay, so you just kind of put it in the bottom of this. Hold on. Get it in there good. This is a small potato. Okay, you guys see that? And that's now if you're good, you don't have to use it, but that'll keep you from slicing your hand. So let's see if it'll slice. I can use this tomorrow because on Sundays we usually have fried potatoes in the morning with our breakfast. Let's see, let's put it down a little bit more. Let's see what it's doing. Oh, pretty good slices. Look at that, y'all. So it's amazing on potatoes. So that is a win-win. Let me see. Now, if you're good, you're used to doing it, you could kind of be careful and just go like that. But I didn't tell you to do it. So there we go. So it works on potatoes. So I just wanted to see. So I'm going to put this in some water. I can use this tomorrow. So now I'll show you how I put this uh, pickle de gallo together real quick. Okay, guys. I got about, about eight tomatoes in here. And one red onion that I diced up with that um, dicing machine. And then right here, this is just some hot peppers, some serrano peppers. And I seeded it and took the ribs out. And I think I'm only going to use about half of this. Let's see because I don't want it that spicy but just give it a little bit of kick you can this is optional you can leave that out if you want but just a little bit and this is some cilantro that I'm going to throw in there I like, we like a lot of cilantro so I'm going to throw all that in there now if you don't just like it if you only like a little bit just put a little bit in there if you don't like cilantro at all just swap it out for parsley you can use the regular parsley or Italian parsley but we like cilantro here and then I'm going to take some lime now how I get the lime to release a lot of juice is I cut it in half and I throw it in the microwave for about 20 seconds 20 to 25 seconds and it'll soften it up if it's hard and it'll release all this juice so you want to put the juice of one to one to two limes it depends on how tart you want it that's just, that was just one lime I might put a half more in there 
then I'm going to take some either pink salt, uh, Himalayan pink salt or some kosher salt. This is kosher salt. Put a little bit of that in there. Okay. Then I'm going to take some black pepper. Right there, about a, about a teaspoon of black pepper. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the adobe seasoning. And if you don't have that, maybe you lose a little cumin or something. I just want the flavors that are already in the uh, the bowl I'm making to kind of come through. And that's it. And when you make it fresh, to me, it just tastes so much better than when you try to buy it in the store. Because you taste that freshness. So that's it. For my pico de gallo. Let me get these bowls together. Okay guys, here is the finished bowls. And I'm just going to add some of this pico de gallo I made right in the middle. You can add sour cream and um, guacamole if you like. Just put a good heaping of that right there. Put some on mine. And that is it. But I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of this uh, vegetable chopper. Let me know if you have one and what you think of it. Um, scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 4. No, I'm not 1 to 10. Scale of 1 to 5, I give it give it a 4. So it's pretty good. One thing I didn't like is the, the cheese was a little bit hard. I mean, it worked really good. But I'd rather use um, something else. But for the potatoes and the um, onions and the tomatoes and all, it was wonderful. So it's, it's, it's good. I, I like it. I'm, I probably use it a lot. Okay. Because it's very quick. I, I did that uh, pico de gallo in no time. So you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys have a great day.